modern nuclear facilities, it is necessary to continually be searching for radioactive contamination, usually in the form of dust. This dust is likely not an immediate health threat, but if it is not found and cleaned, it can spread outside the facility and become a public health concern. The current method to look for this contamination is spike testing. Nuclear workers swab a few areas of the floor with a test paper. They will then measure the radioactivity of this paper at a central counting station. This approach is not ideal. First, it is low skill work for high skill employees. Secondly, workers cannot swab the entire floor thoroughly. Third, the counter identifies if there is contamination, but gives no information regarding where that contamination was found. To address this problem, we present to you the Rad Rover. The Rad Rover is a fully autonomous robot which automates the contamination survey process. Similar to the Roomba vacuum cleaner, the Rad Rover will search the entire floor of the nuclear facility but instead of vacuuming it, it will search for and clean up radioactive dust. The Rad Rover is also even more advanced because it drives according to what calculates is the most optimal path throughout the facility. If on its course the Rad Rover detects contamination, it will clean it up and alert the user to where the contamination was found. The Rad Rover is a tremendous improvement to the current spike testing method. Its low cost saves employers money. High skilled workers are free to do more meaningful work. Since it operates autonomously overnight, it does not interrupt important work. It is capable of exploring the entire floor facility, and it gives users information about where the radiation is found. If the same area is repeatedly contaminated, it is a sign of a contamination source nearby. In this way, the Rad Rover gives more information for lower cost while not interfering with important nuclear work. To operate the Rad Rover, the user need only input information about the room into an intuitive computer program. The path the rover will take is then displayed. The user can then go home while the Rad Rover gets started on its journey. Using an inertial measurement unit capable of measuring acceleration, Hall Effect motor encoders and ultrasonic sensors, the Rad Rover can drive with centimeter precision. It can do this without any external guidance such as a line on the floor. This capability means the Rad Rover can operate in large facilities and can adapt to changing routes. While on its course, the Rad Rover uses two Geiger-Muller tubes to identify higher than background levels of contamination on the floor. If this happens, the Rad Rover will lower a sticky silicone roller and drive over top of the dust, thereby cleaning the floor. It will then resurvey the area to ensure the cleanup was successful. If an unknown obstacle is encountered, the Rad Rover will identify it with ultrasonic sensors and stop its driving. With this new information, it will recalculate the optimal route to take and then execute that route. An additional feature that the Rad Rover offers is that it can detect when it has become contaminated itself. If this occurs, it will stay where it is and display an error message to the user. In this way, the Rad Rover will never spread contamination. While driving, the Rad Rover is also continually sending live updates to computer that monitors where the rover has been, obstacles and radiation found, as well as floor and background count rates. When the user returns in the morning, he or she only needs to wipe the roller clean and save the recorded data. The data is tracked over time so users can know if there are contamination sources in their facilities and managers can evaluate how well their spaces are kept clean. Besides daily contamination surveying, the Rad Rover also has applications in site decommissioning and contamination cleanup after nuclear accidents. If you're interested in finding out more about the Rad Rover or to get a quote, please contact the Department of Engineering Physics at McMaster University.